Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another Dollar Tree DIY. So I'm going to create a lamp using these um, star-shaped candle holders. So first I took some Fix All and I'm just going around the tops of the candle holder and I'm joining um, top to top of the candle holders. So I'm just looking at it to make sure everything is um, positioned correctly and you want to make any adjustments that you need to do before it dries. So you join those two pieces together and you repeat the steps on the next two sets. So you should have a total of three of these in all. So I use um, six of these candle holders. So you should have a total of three. So it should look like this. So next you're gonna you want to allow those to dry um, so the next thing is to take the fix all and you want to put a generous amount on the top of one of the sets of three and you just want to go around all of the top I'm not using any of the hot glue on this part I'm just using straight fix all you can use e6000 or some type of strong glue to adhere these together you can get the fix all from the Dollar Tree so I'm just placing one set on top of the other and basically just looking at it making sure everything is lined up evenly and it does uh, take this glue a while to dry so you do want to let this cure at least 24 hours so I'm doing the same thing with the next one so you can join all three pieces together so you just want to put the candles holders to the side to let them dry so the next thing I'm going to be using some picture frames. I'm using the 3.5 by 5 picture frames. I'm also using the 5 by 10 picture frames. And be careful when you're picking out your frames. Look at them to make sure they're not damaged. Um, so I'm also taking, these are the two pack of the candle holders. And I'm taking a layer of the fix all and I'm going around the bottom part where it's going to be uh, where it sits into like if you stack them on top of each other you just want to put the glue around the part where it's going to touch where, where it's going to be stacked so I'm just place, placing it on the inside and I'm doing four of these so these were the two packs so you will need two packs of those um, and following those same steps and then I'm going to connect all four pieces together. And you do want to look at these and make sure that they're um, placed on there evenly. You do have a little time to make sure everything is lined up because like I said, this glue does take a minute to dry. Well, more than a minute, but it does take a little while to dry. So um, it doesn't take a full 24 hours most of the time. I noticed but you do want to allow it to cure for a good amount of time so I'm also going to take that set of candle holders and place it on the top of the other three sets so going in with the fix all again and I am using a little bit of hot glue I'm not using a whole lot of hot glue just on the spaces that I don't have the fix all I'm just going in with a little bit of hot glue so I can go ahead and continue to record so, and these are all still wet. So if you have any that's um, not positioned correctly, you want to go ahead and make those proper adjustments because when it dries, you want it to be as straight as possible. So I'm also using a five by seven. I said five by 10 earlier, but I, it's a five by seven picture frame, I believe. Um, and I'm taking the hot glue and I'm using the glass in all of the picture frames. So it's going to be a total of two five by sevens and a total of 3.5 by five picture frames. So just making sure that the, that the glass is um, secured in there. So running a hot, a layer of hot glue. I'm also going to use these beads. You can get these from the Dollar Tree as well as Walmart. Now for the base of the can of the lamp, I'm just using one of these octagon shaped um, mirrors. You can use other um, shaped mirrors or if you want to use something else for the base, you're free to do that. But I'm just placing a mirror on top and I'm sorry, on the bottom. And I just put like a circle in the center of the um, mirror to adhere that. Next, you want to make sure that your um, glass is 
clean on your picture frames because once you glue this um, you don't want to see all any any fingerprints and all of that on there so just make sure that your glass is clean so I'm taking these acrylic gems you can get these from the Dollar, Dollar Tree as well I got them from um, the location I picked these up from they had them in the floral section but I have seen them on the craft aisle as well so um, either the floral section or the craft um, aisle and I'm just taking a hot glue and I'm just putting a dot of hot glue and sticking it to the mirror so it should look something like this and you can design this however you desire to design it so I'm going to add um, the acrylic gems to three of the frames so both of the five no sorry both of the 3.5 by 5 picture frames and one of the 5 by 7 frames because um, one is going to be the base part for the lampshade so I didn't add any to that but you can if you want to but you want to leave some space to have your light so I'm taking some of the fix all and the hot glue and I'm adhering this to one side of the 5 by 7 this is the 3.5 by 5 frame that I'm adhering to the 5 by 7 which is the base of the lampshade so here I'm just showing you I put a layer of the fix all and going to follow up with a layer of the hot glue and I'm just placing the hot glue in the spots that doesn't have the fix all And you just want to join those pieces together now it doesn't fit um, exactly on there you will have like a little bit of overhang so it's okay who's uh, who's going to be examining that that close anyway so um, next I'm taking the beads and I'm just trying to drape the beads along the sides that don't have the frame so I'm just joining them from one end of the frame to the other and it's kind of like in a drape pattern and I'm just going all the way up until I think I use about nine um, layers on each side. If you want to do these just straight across without any slack in it, you can do that. Or if you want to hang them, um, I'm sorry, if you want to hang them from top to bottom, you'll need to add the top of the lampshade first and then just uh, add them from top to bottom. So basically just showing you how the look I'm trying to go for with placing these on the sides. Um, and I'm basically using two of the beads to glue down to the inner part of the frames. It's kind of hard trying to show you and me trying to look at it at the same time, but basically that's what I'm trying to do and I'm just gonna follow those steps until um, I have enough where it's looped so this is what you're trying to achieve here so I'm basically gonna um, attempt to show you one more time so basically you're just measuring from one end of the frame to the other leaving at least two to glue down and basically just glue it from one frame inner side of the frame to the other side and this is how it's looking and I'm just going to continue up until I can place in I can't place anymore so I think I use about nine on on both sides so you want to repeat this and you want to do the other side of the frame so this is how it's looking now I'm going to add the top and this is the five by seven frame that I'm adding on the top and just going in with a layer of the fix all as well as the hot glue to adhere it to the top. And again with the hot glue, I'm only using it in the spaces that don't have the fix all. You just want to gently place it on there 
and try to line it up as much as possible. And for the lights, you can use whatever type of light you like to use. These all came from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have several different types of lights. I'm using the LED lights and basically I'm taking, I'm going to use um, where I'm joining the two together. So I'm just showing you as an example, you want to place your batteries inside and peel the sticky, peel the paper off and join the two sticky pieces together. So basically it should look like this. And I didn't want to leave mine white, so I'm actually going to go in and I'm painting mine, but I'm using some nail polish. I had this from the Dollar Tree a while back, and I'm just painting over that. You can also use some diamond wrap or whatever type of um, paint you want to use. So to put the top on, I'm going in with the Fix All as well as a layer of the hot glue. And again, with the hot glue, just only in the spaces where it's not going to be any Fix All, and just place the top. So to put the light in, I just basically just go through the beads and just place it in there and you just press it to turn it on and press it to turn it off. So this is the final look you guys. I really love how this came out. So I'm going to show you close up. You also can run a layer of like fairy lights under um, on the bottom layer of the lampshade if you wanted to do that. Or you can run it throughout the top part as well with the fairy lights. That would be pretty as well. But that's all, you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. Um, thank you for all of my subscribers. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, if you like what you see here and want to continue seeing more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on that post notification um, bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos that I upload. Also, comment, like, and share this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. So until next time, you guys, bye.